Hi, my name is Daniel Garza. I am originally from Mexico. I'm from Monterrey, Vivo Monterrey. I am uh, an actor. I'm a writer. I'm a host of podcasts. I work, uh, I do energy work. I'm gay and I'm also HIV positive. I've been now positive for over 14 years probably. And um, I'm also clean and sober. I've been in recovery just over seven years now. There's a sibling rivalry between, in my life, between addiction and HIV. I started drinking very young. I, and I remember how it made me feel so relaxed and so comfortable in my skin. When I went to high school in Mexico and I started to really identify with the gay community, I found one of the nastiest bars in town because I knew they would let me in. And my first drink was a, a rum and coke, Nakua. Uh, because of the commercials, I'd never had one, but because of the commercials in Mexico, anybody my age will remember this. Um, that's what I asked, and it just made me feel so brave and so strong and so attractive. I've never thought of myself as an attractive person, so it made me feel, of course, 17, 18 year, 17 year old kid in a bar, gay bar in Mexico, you're a prime eat, so I got a lot of attention. So I immediately associated having a drink with getting attention, with sex, with being gay. And I think that's where the domino effect started. Uh, uh, there are so many instances in my life where I shouldn't have made it. By logic and facts, and it's one of those world's dumbest TV shows that I should be featured on. And when I get a chance to look back in my life, I, I realize how many, how many chances God has really given me. And one of the things that I was told from a little kid every time something happened is like, people would tell me, God has a bigger plan for you. And I'll make this story really quick. At one point, I, I don't remember if I had a dream or if I had an image or if I just imagined it, that God gave to me, came to me and said, I'm going to give you this gift. It looks really crappy and you might not enjoy it at first, but I promise you that if you stick with it, it's going to be worth it. And that was HIV. I've shared this with a lot of people and some people don't get it, some people do. But I know that he looked at me and said, I know that there's medication and there's stigma and there's hate and people are going to put you down, but I know that you can make something really great with it. And I said, all right, dude, I'll trust you because he's gotten me out of so many other situations. And it has. Um, HIV put me on, on a national level at one point as a speaker. Drugs took that away, but I had that. Um, once I sobered up, God bless, June 21st, 2007, um, it was the best summer of my life. I think that I actually became a man that summer. Um, hello to my friends in Dickinson. They completely tore me down and took away all of the bad things in my life and said, now fill it up for yourself with good things. Uh, three podcasts later, over 200 episodes, uh, the amount of people that I've spoken with, uh, I'm still doing public speaking at schools about HIV and AIDS. I get to write for an online magazine and share my spiritual growth. Um, my spiritual path has been awakened. Uh, there's always been a history of intuitives in my family and energy workers and I was never able to capture, I always thought about it, but I was never able to be part of it until I sobered up and my head cleared up. So to be able to do things for people and give gifts back to people, um, pay it forward basically, is, is such a motivation. I think because there's another Daniel Garza out there somewhere who needs this Daniel Garza to talk to him because I didn't have that. It took me 36 years to find self-esteem and self-love and self-worth and because I have nephews who are younger than me, obviously, um, 
who are learning about their lives and are experimenting and they're, they're on this great journey and although I know that anything I say can't absolutely change anybody's life but I at least want to be that detour sign on the side of the road and go it's bumpy if you want to go it's bumpy but you know there's a paved road right on the other side 